Starhopper is is capturing people's attention. So let's let's talk about it a little bit more. So Starhopper is a prototype. It like we said water tower with a rocket on it. Why did they build a water tower with a rocket on it and not the real rocket ship? They, they built this because they need to cheaply, that was the, the starship actually venting there, they need to test a, a rocket that most likely will blow up. One of the things that's really fascinating with aerospace is, especially when I, when I got my degree, they made every, and this was a lot of engineers, but our major, particularly, we had a specific class we had to all go to, it was, was an ethics class, basically. And we talked about various scenarios where people do not prepare properly and people get hurt. Aerospace in general, whether it's planes or helicopters or going into space, like all of these things have standards, all of these things have safety standards and the risk, the level of risk, like Tim mentioned in his uh, thing, which is 100% true, is that risk is actually calculated. It's actually calculated how risky this certain thing is. So the cool thing is in the engineering of this, they really only needed to build this much of the rocket to test the first stage. You know, this rocket, the Raptor engine, is an extremely powerful engine and it's, needs to be proofed out you know they they haven't even fired it for a full uh, minute i believe you know that's that's one of the crazy things about uh, these rocket engines is you know you're kind of like testing it along the way and you only have so much money so you don't want to really blow up a whole bunch of them you can't just like like the cool thing about having a 3d printer and, and, and 3d printing out of like plastic is it's actually really really cheap so if you wanted to do i do that in my design process a lot I will have a uh, something I wanted to make, and maybe I, it needs to fit something. Maybe it's a replacement part. Like there was one one I did. It's a replacement part for a knob on an oven. Uh, you know the company doesn't make it anymore. The the knob broke or it snapped off because it's super old plastic. We remade a knob uh, and. I printed a whole bunch of them to kind of fit it. So we, we designed it, and then once you 3D print it, it's not exactly 100%, so you you build another one. And the good thing is plastic is cheap, and when you own a 3D printer and you've already you know paid it off, uh, that it's that's just a, another tool in your tool chest for design, and it actually lets you design extremely quickly, and especially for the actual machine that's making it. Uh, rockets are obviously a little bit different. With rockets, we are trying to, we only have a certain amount of money, it's super expensive, this probably the technology hasn't been made before, and so only getting like five of them is so expensive. You know, the reason why things are so cheap is because they're mass produced, especially plastic stuff. Like, if you have an injection mold and you're making 10 million parts from that mold, that one part is very cheap. But if you're making one of them, and that's that's one of the things like when you're prototyping, and the, is that it's very expensive to do so, and it, it has been until the last 20, 30 years, you know, uh, 3D printing has been a big part of that. 3D printing helps us uh, achieve the end result with more attempts and fixes and tweaks on the real thing. Uh, it's one of the great things about having a prototype is you're able to uh, slowly tweak it as you're making the final thing. So you're learning even more. If you have multiple prototypes, if you do it right, and, and we've seen SpaceX do this, you, you learn a ton, and we've seen their success with this method with the Falcon 9 rocket. So the Falcon 9 rocket, uh, we talked about it the last episode. When I was in college, I had watched this thing completely reset. Uh, the clock is now at 148, 147, 146 and we'll have it launch soon. But real quick, I watched the Starhopper develop in college while I was getting my engineering, aerospace engineering degree. They literally had a rigid rocket with, uh, a rigid rocket meaning they, they had the grasshopper, the legs that now fold out and they come out beautifully and it, it, it timing is like perfect. That was not like that when they first tested it. Just like the Starship here is just a Starhopper. It's, it's not the thing that we're flying to Mars on, but it's the thing that will get us to the next stage. So the Grasshopper Falcon 9 was the test to see if this was even possible. And that's what this first test, it's a cheap test to see if this is possible. If this rocket in this orientation for, you know, the power they're looking to test, to see if the engine works, to see if they can catch the mission profiles that they're looking for, 58 seconds, uh, it is 
a cheap way to do that. They're actually, looks like they're putting down water before they launch this rocket. Uh, remember, there was a brush fire the last time we did this test. All right, so 45 seconds. 